And I think I'm going to get on CletusMcFarland.com and order me one of these holiday mystery packs. Wait. Express, express, express shipping? Order place. Captain Cleeter, come in! I'm here. What's the situation? We got to express, express, express! It's air delivery! It's a holiday bundle! Can you get it out? Yeah, yeah, I've got a holiday bundle on me. I'm on it. Send me the coordinates. All right, coordinates are set. I'm on my way. What is this? There's no way that's my order. I think that's my order. No way. That's my order. They must use ShipStation. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by ShipStation. Obviously, Cleese for Fallen Warehouse is very busy right now with the holidays. But ShipStation is keeping everything organized and in check so we can get orders right out the door. ShipStation is an e-commerce software that helps you deliver orders to your customers. It helps you manage orders, handle customer service, inventory, get you the best shipping rates on the market, and so much more. ShipStation automates all those pesky tasks that come with shipping products. I wish ShipStation could automate my whole life. Automate putting up Christmas lights at my house. But really, ShipStation is probably the most crucial tool we use in the Cleese McFarland warehouse and we've been using it for years. Keeps all our orders organized with one simple dashboard. ShipStation works just about everywhere you can sell online, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and many more. Get discounts of up to 89% on USPS and UPS rates. Over 130,000 e-commerce businesses have scaled their business with ShipStation, including mine, and 98% of those companies that stick with ShipStation for over a year become customers for life, just like us. And guys, right now, ShipStation is offering a free free 60-day trial to you guys. All you got to do is visit ShipStation.com slash Cletus. So if you've been on the fence about trying ShipStation, now's your chance to get a free 60-day trial and it's easy to set up. Again, guys, ShipStation.com slash Cletus. Thanks to ShipStation for sponsoring today's video. Let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus Me Pro on YouTube channel. You know what these are for? They look like either Mustang Hop and or Wheelies. Supra. <laughs> They're for the Supra. <laughs> Oh, really? Some slicks, dude? She on Papa Willie. Ooh. Brand spanking new? Brand new. Look at that. That's that old school Supra look. Dang, Damn. dude. Oh, it's super forms right here. Skinnies and slicks, boy. <laughs> Shoot, wait. This is like Sam's awesome. dream. I'm pretty sure at night, Sam dreams about, you know, like, just dirty, cleaning a wheel like this. Dirty aluminum wheels that he can polish. <laughs> like, you know, Ooh, those are sick. Fresh set of slicks. Rears on that thing. You guys see what's happening here. We're taking the Supra drag racing, you know, because it runs so good and it's so reliable. We thought, why not ruin it yeah. by taking it to the drag strip? Yeah, why not try to break it? <laughs> and just destroy it. You know what I mean? Like the drag strip destroys any weak part. And we just wanted to make sure we know what it is on the Supra. So we're gonna go to the drag strip and see what we can run on this thing. If it runs one nine second pass, we're good. I just wanna know that it's a nine second street car. We don't gotta go crazy and try and run an eight. Okay, everyone chill out. <laughs> I already know what you guys are thinking. They're gonna see you run a nine and then wanna go eights. Yeah, it's not uh, nine, great. No, it's not happening. We're going one, maybe two nine second runs. That's it. Sam, what you got going here, bud? That ain't gonna work. Can you fix that up? I can fix it up. Those are... Ooh. Yeah, those are rough. This is gonna be a challenge. Check out the fronts. I polished those ones myself. I'm just kidding. They came like that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say... We're gonna be dialed. All right, guys. Here it is. Dang. Brother, the 90s Blast called. from the past, dude. Hell yeah. So, Sam took the wheels home last night. Shined them up. They're looking crispy. I mean... Goodness yeah, gracious. Yeah. That looks good. So, we did have to run some big spacers in the front, which I don't love, but dude, look at the Supra. Shoo wee. So, I guess uh, one thing left to do is go see if it works. Go down there, get these to three wrinkle. Yeah. Hit the start line, see what happens. Yeah, get some, uh, bring a tire pressure gauge. We're going to drop them down at 12 Either PSI. Zero, zero to 10 for these slicks. So, take us back to our Leroy days when he had a slick and we were running mm -hmm. like 12 PSI. Yeah. I think that's what it'll like. I got to leave off the two step because this little motor will not go unless no, it's making those, like 15 pounds yeah, of boost. Those hook and it bogs. Yeah. I'll back up. It ain't going to work. It won't be a good run. All right. Well, let's go find out what the weakest link on the Supra is here at our local drag strip. 
Bradenton Motorsports Park. Yeah, I got a feeling today's going to end in uh, ordering two Turbo 400s. One for this. One for a 2J and one for a Coyote. And Oh, McFlurry? <laughs> oh, slick tire air pressure, dude. You know what? Pull them at three. <laughs> slick tire racer. It's got to it's gotta look like it's flat when we pull yeah. up. You know three, three and a half. Dude, you can't walk up and, like, kick it toe kick first the and it not yeah. hurt, then it's, it's too much too air much. in it. What are we at right now? 20? That's... Dang. About to explode that thing. Yeah, hell yeah, pull that thing out. If I get loose, bro. Is that even a question? You never know with this guy, you know. He drives. And yeah, let me tell you, this else. thing does not feel very stable on these slicks. I could imagine. The radials are so nice. All right, guys. Obviously, the Supra is just a street car. So if we go a nine once, we're gonna get the boot. You know, if we go a nine, anything, we're getting the boot, which I really hope we go a nine. <laughs> I don't mind getting kicked out. It's been a while since I've gotten kicked out of the drag strip. Trash control off. Boost setting, eh. mm, Let's go setting two. I'm leaving off the two step. It's gonna be rowdy. The Rat Rod Supra. Out here at the drag strip, slicks and skinnies, looking good, like it's fresh out of a movie. Come on, Cleet, let's see what this baby will do. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, I hit the rev limiter because I'm a Supra guy. Yeah. Sounds good having slicks. Am I good? Uh, I was hoping you'd roll further to scrub them in a little bit. There's still a bit of water. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> Say no more, brother. Got to scrub them. They're fresh. Should I try new. second gear? I don't know. Absolutely. Okay. Fresh and brand new. Oh, those are brand new. Scrub these babies in real quick. <laughs> I can't believe it's just dead hooking. Well, what you think? I, I know it's scary, but you just gotta give it more beat. I, I didn't lift. I know. It's I'm full cool. throttle. I wonder if you just try to slip the shit out of it, maybe it'll ride the clutch a little bit. I feel like I need to hit it harder so it just gets... If you hit it harder, let the wheels, but it's literally dead hooking. 
Well, Wade did prep the shit out of the trap. Wade, what the hell? <laughs> I already asked for some rocks and thrown out. He's I like, mean, oh, what? You want some sand or something? I guess. Should I slip it or should I hit it? So either you slip the clutch and let the clutch be the momentum or you try to hit it. But the thing is, let's, is you just keep let's try slipping the clutch yeah, first. Try to slip it. You try to get it to go. I missed my V8. Solid first rip. I should have probably left the old slicks on and then we wouldn't have this too much yeah. traction issue because it just is dead hooking. You yeah, know our boy did. Wade's always got this track on kill and we need some we need a little give. <laughs> That's the most super thing he's ever done, dude. Look at that line. Listen, I know it. I know it. I mean dude, it took that many times to leave it. That's a super so uh he had to slip the crap out of the clutch just to get it to leave, so it went 167 to the 60 foot, not ideal. 628, 122 mile an hour to the eighth though. 948 at 156 out the back. Wow, that's solid. Ripping. And he used- uh, All of it. He used about 1,500 <laughs> foot of racetrack there. Then some that's wheel so hop <laughs> spin, and then some shifting, some more spin. Then it hooked you can up just look at the track and see exactly what the run did. Yeah, yeah, you can see it's all right there. It's all right there. You see about the 330, it hooked up and went. Yeah. Uh, that's all she went. 156. Nice. Oh my gosh. That was so rowdy. I was actually in shock. By the time I realized it was going, I was like, oh wow, we're ripping. Dude, I thought I was doing a freaking wheelie for a second. I couldn't even, like this thing squatted so hard. That was insane. <laughs> They did oh, swallow. Mark on. 167. What a horrible 60 foot to go a 948. This is an eight second vehicle. Oh, 100%. This is 100% eight second car. Yeah. But we can't run it again because the oh, tires are rubbing. Yeah. They'd probably let us run again. The but, tire's pretty, uh. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's, 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 it's not, not loving life it's right now. <laughs> let me take a gander. It might pop let me one. Take a gander. You got some pretty deep grooves. You might want to look for 20 feet. Yeah, that ain't gonna do it. That ain't gonna do it. <laughs> dude, it went so good though. I mean, dude, I'm telling you, my seat almost broke in half. I was freaking in there like, it was sick. You feel like you're in Leroy again? Definitely needs more starting line power. 
to dump the clutch on these tires. Well, yeah, if I had, you know, like it needs the more than one shot, all I have is you yelling at me up there. I'm like, all right, well, <laughs> turn it up. That was all the way on the two yeah, step. That's, that's insane. I was thinking about that. That's all the way up on the two step, and it just boom. I just wanted yeah, it to look crazy. like one of those like 2011 YouTube videos where the oh. Supra's like. Oh no! It did. It did. Okay. Yeah, it did. All right. Well, then mission accomplished. <laughs> and it didn't even break, so we're good. Yeah, you're dialed. It looked awesome. I'm slightly confused by what I see right now. Yeah, I don't know why he's doing that. Is not the turnout box. But whatever. We're not even gonna worry about that. Full tooted in the front, squatting in the back. It was chattering the wheel sideways. so hard, and I was like, brother, hold on. for I just didn't lift. I was like, you got this, baby girl. As soon as it was I solid. Smoke, I was like, yeah, I dude. know what that is. Those are brand new tires. Oh, no, they weren't. Those were used. Rivers. No, they were like only ripped. Well, you know what time it is now. I really want to do that again, but. <laughs> don't hit the brakes That's a little. All right, let's run the F-150. We can. It beat the Supra. 948. That, I don't know about. I should have just left the old switch. Enough yeah. slit to bite, just enough slit to slip because them brand new rigs are just. <laughs> right. yeah, it, it, I'm surprised we, we don't have enough tuning data to make that you know right on the first run. But hey, we made it work. All right, guys, you saw that the F-150 rips on the street. Actually, you can do four-wheel drive burnouts. We left everything the same. We're just gonna see what it runs down the drag strip. Obviously, we have a less than ideal tire setup. You know, these tires aren't great. These wheels probably very heavy as well, 22. So they're not like. We no. just want to see what it'll do. You know, we got the new Whipple on, the Gen 6 Whipple. It's been running fantastic. 25, 26 pounds of boost. Let's see what it'll do. Four wheel drive. You know, I'm, we already know I heard it was making a 10 -0. I heard it was yeah. making 27 pounds of boost. In good air last night. I bet it goes yeah. nine first hit. I it don't think you're wrong. <laughs> we can lead quick, it'll go nine. Yeah, even a half launch, it'll probably go a nine still. So, if we can get out of it, I'm excited. All right. Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you gonna launch this rig and go fast? If it doesn't go a nine first pass, I'm driving home. Are you gonna two-wheel drive, do a burnout, then put a four-wheel drive, dry hop, yeah. and stage it, and then you're gonna go too fast? Well, I don't think I need to dry hop it, do I? I don't know, I was asking you. I don't know. I mean, I would. You tell, I mean, you're you're the I would do it just a burnout and get the back hot. Yeah, I was gonna do the, get the back And then make hot. sure it's in four-wheel drive good. You don't gotta dry hop it, but just make launch. sure it actually. <laughs> Switch it to two wheel drive at the eighth mile. Um, if you can do that, <laughs> no, 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 I'll go four low. I'll four start low. four low, go four high, four then two low. wheel. The moment we've all been waiting for. <laughs> oh, wow, this thing is sick. Oh, yeah. That oh, sounded man. good. Man, I'm gonna be disappointed if this video ends without a blown up drivetrain. I had much Go higher expectations. Tire the right. That's balls from your Supra. Look at the wheel hop from the Supra. All right. Four wheel drive F1 Smokums. Can he get a clean launch on the first rip and do something cool? We're about to find out. It did? Nine seventy four, a one forty seven. Leave it off of idle. 
Oh my gosh, dude. 147 mile an hour. Dude. Are you kidding me? Yes! Well, I have no idea how fast we're going because the speedometer is pegged. But 170, 60 foot, which is just atrocious. That's probably a 10, honestly. Probably a 10 second pass just because the 60 foot was horrendous. Are you kidding so me? So he just went a 171 60 foot, 641 at 117 to a 974 <laughs> 147. And he just Holy left and just crap. That was no no stalling of the converter. He just. Dude, that's a deep nine. And that's a 974. First, first pass? That's not a 999. That's a 974. Golly, first, man. At 147 miles. That's fast. And we drove it here. It's not like we like have it cooled down, ice on oh the, my on the Atlanta. blower or nothing. I'll it tell you go, one thing, I'll never race that thing. It could go, it that could go thing. faster. Oh yeah. It could go faster. When it gets nice. a tire, a little not suspension work. The way it sits, it can go faster. He just literally True. left off the idle and just into the well, gas. Well, if it, if it, uh, if he goes any harder and it does that little wheelie and screws yeah, it up it again, picks up that one tire, it gets kind of you know, pissed it's off. All will drive, so you get one tire that gets yeah, uh, a it, little bit of extra wheel speed, wigs right. everything out. Last time we did a donut like that, it blew the transfer case apart. Yeah. I mean, 1760 foot, it's pretty bad. 1025? Yeah, I'm Something close. Like that. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> Woo! Yeah. 974. Yeah, 147. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> That's insane. Okay. Golly, I mean. And that's just leaving off my own. First time yeah. going down the track. Literally. It I mean, a how? 70, 160 foot and went at 97. I mean, this thing on a drag pack should be able to go 145, 60 foot. Yeah, I would think. This, this thing could potentially go bottom nines and high eight with some tuning. Oh, yeah. Yeah. After seeing that on this tire, on the first awesome. time going down the track. Yeah. Oh, yeah, heavy. <laughs> yeah. Heavy. I what mean, do we do? Are we done? You gotta order some, we gotta order some no, tires. are we done for the day? I mean, you could go a little faster if you just stall it up just a little bit. You left off the idle. But Literally. if you do another wheelie, it's gonna do that little funny thing it Will did last cool time. Down or just back to back it? I mean, maybe you left the trans. Whoa. What's the trans at? We just turned that off, brother. Trying to get a data log on this one. It's kind of hard balancing how much gas pedal to leave with. Here we go. Got the F-150 out of here. Nice little burnout. Get the back tires right. Popper in four wheel drive. All right, so first pass we went a 974. Gonna see if he can't get it to go a little faster, leave a little harder maybe. All right, truck, take me there. Second gear leave is ready. Fifty eight at one forty six. Oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? Nine fifty eight at one forty six. F-150 
150 drivetrain. One simple step, stay in through the wheel hop. We got lucky though. Damn, I love this thing. Yeah, that was a way better leave. Two tenths just by going a good 60 foot. Yeah. 149 of the 60 foot went 622 at 116 of the eight. 958 at 146 <laughs> mile an hour. On 22s. On 22s with street tires. Oh. Can I get a ride? Yeah, yeah. Driving real slow. I picked out this GTR guy. I wanted to show him. I wanted to show him what a burnout was like. And I think I threw the belt off. I'm just bad luck today. Yeah. I didn't touch it. Nope. Lower belt slayer. Other belt slayer. Mm. Might have broke something else. Though. Well, that's not good. All right, guys. False alarm. We had a throttle pedal electrical fault and it threw a check engine light but it's all good now we're back to ripping well what a run what a run 958 yeah, i'm sure you 58. saw the, the 60 foot yeah but it hopped one after it but after it i was like rah, rah. this still went a 958 146 mile an hour pretty solid rip that's only a pretty solid yeah line. pretty solid <laughs> that's right, the super yeah yeah i know on 22 just imagine if it had a tire i you mean let's go 920s Easily. I bet if it had stock F-150 wheels, it would be going a yeah. lot faster. We got a unit Dude, here, guys. So, <laughs> hey, successful day. We actually didn't blow anything up. We're ordering wheels and tires today to get this thing dialed. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for now. Wolf Rick and see you later.